Basenet Intermedia Group production. For stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Julie Marie about Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and I'm here in downtown Los Angeles at City Hall, where they're getting ready for the press conference to talk about freedom and peace on the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's legendary I Have a Dream speech. And today we are here to mark an historic event that has happened in our country 50 years ago today on August 28th, 1963. And so we're here to tell you today that as a new coalition that the struggle is going to continue and we're still going to work together to make sure that we can define what a dream is and make sure it comes to pass here in America. Forty-five years after Dr. King stood with strike workers in Memphis, the dignity and respect, declaring, I am a man. We are celebrating this march, but we are not satisfied with the results, and we are not satisfied with the direction this country is going. We have to create better jobs, and we have to create them now. We want to remember the march on Washington to call on the moral conscience of the country, but also to call on the moral conscience of Angelinos across this land and the folks who make decisions about our people every day so that we can have a better quality, quality of life and realize the freedom struggle in our city and our time. So it is up to all of us, all of these people here and all of you out there to become active participants in helping us to resolve the issues that concern all of us in America and to make that American dream that Martin Luther King had for all of us to come true. Meanwhile in Compton, Congresswoman Janice Hahn celebrated the anniversary of the legendary speech by hosting a panel discussion to share Dr. King's message with the Compton community. So as we celebrate this day, uh, each of us must be a torchbearer. And, and given the opportunity for working for equal access for all, we all have something to contribute to our communities and to our nation. Let us begin as Dr. King began with the belief that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. There were also children from the Compton Unified School District who read Dr. King's speech aloud. Now is a time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. The marvelous new force in the Negro community must not lead to a distrust of all white people. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern city knowing somehow this situation can and will be changed. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And various public officials from the Compton District, along with two student council representatives, shared their experiences and answered important questions, including why is the Voters' Right Act of 1965 still an issue in 2013? People are unaware of the voting acts, right? You know, many young people, in my, I can ask people in my age group, so I'm able to vote, but if I ask people that are the same age as me, well, why didn't you, well, because I didn't know. You know, a, a lot of people think, you know, nah, you know, it's, it's not going to change anything, it's not going to change anything, but that's the kind of mentality that still keeps us where we are today. So we have to stop going to sleep and thinking voting so lightly. Because you're going to wake up and you won't be able to vote. Our children are our responsibility. And our elected officials are responsible to us. It's a challenge to go to our legislative leadership in the state to deal with it in a way that we can in California. The Compton College Student Lounge was filled with residents of all ages who saw hope for the future through the generations. So it was refreshing to see students, you know, e even like, you know, little kids that were reciting the speech. It was just, you know, refreshing to see that, you know, some students or some kids out there really uh, have a, their parents are doing, their parents are doing a, doing a good job. If she hold on to what she have inside of her and the other generation can catch fire with what she have, I think there's some hope for the next generation. Because you get to, like, get freedom and everything. I like it. Dr. King's legacy lives on even today here at the Methodist Church located in Los Angeles, California, as we are called to duty, as it says in his I Have a Dream speech. The day's events culminated back in downtown Los Angeles with a call of action mass 
where various speakers, including Dr. King's goddaughter, gathered in front of several hundreds to reflect on the last 50 years and share her vision for the future. I got a dream that one day when I walk down the streets of Beverly Hills with my husband, who's sitting over here, this beautiful white man, The AME Choir challenged the room to join hands and sing old Negro spirituals like <laughs> and actor Jesse Williams along with Reverend James Lawson shared their view on how important movies like the 2013 hit The Butler is to American culture on the anniversary of Dr. King's speech. For me, it's very personal because it says everything about manhood. For me, what that means to be a patriarch, what that means to be a leader, and we so desperately need that in our community now. And it demonstrates what it is to sacrifice, not for now, not for the moment, not for next month, not for what's hot, but to sustain. And, and I think it really, what, we're, what I'm so proud of is the ability to demonstrate that nonviolence is not it's not just non-something. It's not about an action. Much as you know of what's on television and in film, and I've noticed how the films change, and I, I'm, a, I'm, a tel I'm a, a film person, I love films, uh, personally. But to see so many of them going off in the deep end, and exercises so, so actors can shoot guns at each other and have fun. And I remember when I did that as a kid, Streets of Massive, Ohio, we've been having BB gun wars. I, I'm now mature enough that I don't think action is about the capacity for us to have guns and shoot at each other. I don't think that's what we need. We need films like The Butler. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles.